So I'm going to start from the beginning. This is Ender 5. You might have trouble trying to level this thing or get it going to print. So one of the things you're first going to do is I switch out for the silicone springs or whatever springs you have. You're going to, you know, turn in the springs, but not all the way, you know, just so you have a little bit of room to have some wiggle room to play with. After you're done there, you have your micro SD into here, okay? Go over to print, start a print, go into adjust, and that's what my Z's at. But you turn yours to zero because I don't want you scratching your plate or messing anything up. So make sure before you do anything right there during this video, you turn that to zero. Let's go all the way down to zero, go in and stop your print. I've had the issue where that's been too high and this has come up and scraped against the nozzle. It's been a fun experience, I'll tell you. So after you do that, you're going to want to um, level this out, okay? One of the ways I did that was with the digital caliper. I put it on each side. I measured from this metal bar to that top spot, okay? And I did that on both sides and I hand turned the rod until they were both even. Now, if you do not have a digital caliper before I had one, what I did is I made the board go all the way down. I turned off the machine and I hand turned them until they were all the way down, even with here. Then I went into settings and I moved it all the way back home to its home point. Then the settings go to move and move it back home to its home point. So after you have these on there where you have enough play, you've adjusted this, like I said, um, you're ready to level this thing. So the first thing you need to do is you need to heat up your plate because you know metal, glass, everything, cold and hot, expands and is and tracks, you know, it gets smaller, gets bigger. So we're going to go back, we're going to go to temp, go to manual, and I like to set it to 70. 70 is what sticks for some things really well. I've noticed that when you have it at 70, the whole plate entirely will heat up really well. So I would turn it to 70. Most of the time I can use like 55, 60 on when I'm printing. But I like to do 70, especially with um, rainbow silk. So after you're done there, you got this board heated up to 70 degrees. We're going to level this thing. So we're going to go into settings. We're going to go to level. Now it's going to auto home. That's why we turn the Z point back to zero because it will auto home and it won't be it will be the right length from the plate. Now yours is going to be a little farther because my Z point is already set. So you're going to have a big nice gap there. Sorry for my video skills. I'm just trying to do a quick video. So after your Z is there. It's not going to be quite level, it's going to be high above it, but that's okay. Because we've just measured this and we messed with the rods and everything, what we're going to do is we're going to go in right now and we're just going to turn on auto level. Make sure that's on and then you're going to go in and hit measure. I'm not going to do it because my stuff's already level and I'm not messing with it because it's pretty good right now. So after you do auto level and you hit measure, it's going to measure all the points, 16 points or so of the board. After it's done with that, it'll be, you know, level with these rods and the plate and, and these things. But it's not going to be completely level because you just adjusted everything. So, after that, why don't you go ahead and hit the Z home. It'll be in the middle, and but it's going to be far away from the plate. You will take a shim, and I like to use the shims that are 0 .04, if you can see that. There you go. 0 0.4 or a piece of paper. I stopped using paper because I was sick of wasting it. And these shims I got off of Amazon, they're pretty long and they work great. So, what I'll do is I'll put the shim in the middle, here on here, or a piece of paper. And then you can move the Z point until this is right below it with a little bit of play. What you don't want is the shim or the piece of paper doing this. You don't want it doing this. You just want to have it move a little freely, but you want to feel that it's gripping it. That it has some tension there, you know? Um, just, you don't want it doing this. That's too much. So after you got your Z point adjusted, here's what the video doesn't show you. You want to hit the Z home. 
the Z by hitting the Z home after you've adjusted the up and down that's actually your save point that's what saves it there's no button here that tells you save Z point that's how you save it you hit the Z home and that saves your Z point so after you saved it where the nozzle is correct where you have the correct um, length between the nozzle and the bed you're going to do an aux level now I go around twice I don't worry about the middle because there's no knob here to adjust the middle so I just see the, the points on the side one well one's here so it'd be two three four and five and I'll do that twice after you do that twice you'll go back in you'll turn auto level on and you'll measure this will do the correct measurements for all, all the 16 points now after that I like to go in and do another aux level after that aux level um, I will hit the number one when it's done I'll do two three four and five two three four and five twice I'll hit the one so when I goes back it will go to the correct point so when you go back on the screen you'll come back here and then you'll make sure you hit put your piece of paper right here hit the Z home and put your paper under there and then make sure that point is really good if it's good you don't need to do anything if you need to adjust it up and down adjust it up and down and hit the Z home to save it so you're in a good spot and then I'll do turn on keep auto level on and do one more measurement this will measure everything and then you should be good to go after that but what the video tells you on the Creality page is it tells you to keep auto leveling on and then when you go back into print off your SD card it makes it too far away I don't know if there's a glitch in the system or what's going on but after you're done with all the steps I've told you or even with you want to take the steps off the Creality video um, you turn auto level off keep it off you just did the aux you just did the measurements you're on point there's no reason to keep auto level on you're good you don't need to change anything um, I've noticed when you keep auto leveling off and you go back to your print it keeps it too far away you'll make this line down here and then you'll make another line coming across here to the middle telling you that I believe that's telling you that it's too far away you just want to see one line going down sometimes it doesn't start right here it'll start like right here but it'll come all the way back up and you know you're good to go and then it'll move over and start doing your print so after you're done here you did all the steps I told you, you saved the Z home, um, everything's good on here, your numbers, you'll go back, you'll go back again, and you'll just go to your print, and then you print, that's all you do, and then it'll just heat up your print, you can go in here when you do your print, and you can go to adjust, and you'll see your Z height, now that will be to where you need it to be, mine's always between 268 and 269, 259, and 258. So I know those are the points. Um, and that varies on how I turn these knobs in and stuff like that. So I'm going to stop this because I don't want it to print. But you can see I'm at 70 degrees on my board and I print this stuff at 215. But that's, that's pretty much it, you know. And then after that, everything should stick. One of the things you want to do after each print, though, is get yourself some isopropyl rubbing alcohol and rub down the plate if you're having a problem with stuff sticking you probably have some residue on the plate so you need to rub it with some isopropyl that's one thing I learned I had a problem with doing something and it was taking forever I was like why isn't it sticking and it turns out I just had to wipe it down so I hope this helps you guys in getting stuff to stick to the Ender 5 Plus this has certainly helped me in my ways you know I don't print everything through Cura I just do it all through the SD card because you have you can adjust the settings as you're going. Now I know there's like a Marlin software and some better software out there to do. Um, it has more settings and more of what you need. But this is a way to get it done. Just remember heat up your plate before you go into the auto level. Remember the Z home saves your, your Z point. Um, you don't need to go back in like the Creality video shows you every time and turn it back to zero if you ever have to adjust your Z point like you'll see it go back to zero but the one thing you want to do is if you ever adjust these knobs really good or do anything that plate before you do that go in there and turn that back to zero otherwise what you'll get if that's too far or something's not right there's nothing to stop this 
from coming up and just smashing against your nozzle. I've done it a bunch. And that auto level feature, I don't know if it's missing a code or what, but sometimes when you go into print off your micro SD and it does that auto level beforehand, it'll spaz out, it won't go it'll go all the way to the side and mess up your BL touch. Or it'll just like go halfway and then bing and then just not like want to measure the right point. So I recommend doing what I suggest. You know, going in, doing a level, do an aux level, do a measuring with the auto level on. If you have the auto leveling off and you do a measure, then you're just measuring. You're, it's not adjusting anything. All it's doing is telling you what measurements the points are at. And that's good, I mean, if you want to just see exactly where it's at, but it's not going to adjust anything. So make sure you do an aux level. Um, the bed's up to the par with the temperature. You do... Uh, and measuring with the auto leveling on I like to do another aux level to go around it twice do another measuring with the auto level on turn auto level off and then go in and do your print now remember the Z height up and down and you push the Z home to save it the point zero four shims that's what I use I don't like wasting the paper or you can use the paper you just want to make sure it's not going like this it's just you know you can feel the tension it's just moving slowly and then you should be good to go. Any comments or questions, please let's leave them. I'm always open up to suggestions and what you guys are doing. All right, thank you. Have a good day.